Mother, mother, yes, my son, why do they hate us so much? Asked the little spider. I have no idea, my dear, the mother spider replied. Yes, we are entirely harmless to human beings. We are indeed harmless species and have done nothing to them. Besides, we do them a lot of favors. We keep the population of harmful bugs and insects down, especially the mosquitoes, which are more dangerous to humans than some axe murderers. Did you know that mosquitoes are responsible for more human deaths each year than other humans and insects combined? So human beings have no good reasons to fear us, but they still do, unfortunately. I'm afraid, my dear, humans aren't that brilliant. Go to sleep, my son, and don't let the bed bad humans bug bite. Okay, mother, I love you. I love you too, my sweet pumpkin. Mommy, I think the hate shown to spiders by humans is unnecessary. Absolutely, and I would suggest to them, if you are sleeping or taking a shower and a giant spider crawls up your leg like a freak or pervert, that's a good time to really freak out. Other than a scary situation like that, I don't think spiders will harm or hurt you in any way. Obviously, there are venomous spiders, but their webs are not strong enough to trap you. They don't even know how to open doors, more or less trap you and the chances are that less than 50% of spider species are poisonous. Okay, let's be honest. Unless you live in the land down under, the chances of you getting bitten and dying from a spider bite are meager, if at all. Yes, there are more than 43,000 different species of spiders found worldwide, and only 30 species are venomous or poisonous. If you're having an adverse reaction to a spider bite, you should seek treatment, but many spider species are harmless and I bet that even the Black Widow, commonly known as the most poisonous or venomous spider in North America, will not kill you if you're a well and healthy adult. Don't get me wrong, their bite will be painful and may last for a few days, but you will survive it as quickly as you can say, spider bite. Ah, that was a joke. If you get bitten anywhere by Black Widow spider, don't wait, see a doctor right away. And hey, you never know. You might get lucky and acquire supernatural powers from the spider bite like Spider-Man. They say that the Black Widow and the Brown Recluse are the two most dangerous venomous spiders in North America. In America? Typical, guys. What are you trying to say about brown and black colors being dangerous? Let me remind you that the Great White Shark is much more dangerous if you ask me. Please don't quote me on that. Technically speaking, the great white sharks are the least dangerous animal in the wilderness, besides puppies, of course. Sharks don't want to eat humans. Literally, if you have to fight a shark and a spider, the shark would probably win, right? And by the way, all spider species, according to one famous comic, I read this in 2014 in a National Geographic article, a single spider could eat up to 2,000 insects per year. So if you are not too fond of bugs like flies, moths, and mosquitoes, which are believed to kill about 600,000 people a year, then you can proudly say, I am on Team Spider. Wait a minute, because they're also not fans of them, if you know what I mean. Well, actually, they are fans, because they eat them for food. But I'm not saying you must be roommates with arthropods or arachnids. I'm just saying that spiders are not that dangerous. And if you see a spider, Please don't try to torture it continuously, like smashing it with a blunt instrument, screaming, Ah, it's still alive. It's still moving. Please kill me. Then you squash it. Instead, please don't kill it. Like, cover the spider up carefully with a cup or something. Spiders are dumb, so doing that will be much easier. After that, scoop up your new bestie or best friend with a piece of paper or something and gently put it back into the wild with the rest of God's glorious creatures. Yeah, the chances are that the spider won't make it because of being thrown into an unfamiliar environment, but they should have thought of the consequences of their actions before they decide to move into my house. Even though a spider has eight eyes, they are believed to have terrible eyesight. Not all spiders have eight eyes, some actually have as many as 12 eyes. So you see, that spider that unfortunately landed on your face did not do it knowingly. It was not intentional. It is believed that certain species of spiders that live inside the caves are entirely blind. They do not even have one eye. But even if they have any eyes, their entire world would be dark and pitch black, 
What an awful life that must be. I think that particular species are known as Symplodius scurion, the world's first huntsman spider. Imagine what it would feel like every time you're outside under the sun and think there's a colony of spiders living in pure darkness somewhere inside a dark cave, never being able to see the sun, never seeing their children smile for once, or even seeing them graduate from college, but sitting and languishing in the caves for the rest of their lives. Ah, oh, what a sad life to be a part of. And that is nature. They're just sitting in a cave all their lives. That is the way it is, just how the cookie crumbles, as they say. Also, we have forgotten the most fantastic thing about spiders. They are very talented in web design. Spider webs, that is. <laughs> Symmetrically, the silk in the spider web is much stronger than the fibers used in making a bulletproof vest. So next time you go to combat or a gunfight, don't forget to wear a spider web, or as I call it, the spider stop. <laughs> The fantastic thing about spider webs is that not only can they stop you or a lunatic from being slaughtered in a battle or combat, but it is awesome and unbelievable that something that stupid and small as a spider would create such intricate shapes and designs from nothing other than the material inside their tiny bodies. That reminds me of the golden silk orb weaker spider. It has so many middle names I can't even remember them all, but I digress. The silk orb weaker spider has plenty of silk inside the body to create enough silk to make three complete spider webs. And since humans can use spider webs to create many things like fishing lures or violin strings, it's somebody's job to pin that spider down or put a handcuff on it and remove all its silk, like spider predators. Bad humans. Although the documentary said they immobilize the spiders to extract the silk, which is harmless. I hope that is true, but really, can you believe that is someone's job? With that said, I don't think telling people that I was once very proud of my career at the fast food joint is not that bad anymore. So, uh, buddy boy, what do you do for a living, if you don't mind me asking? Maybe in my next career, I would harmlessly immobilize unsuspecting spiders with my thumbtacks, harvest gold and silk out of their bodies, and sell them at the auction. What about you, buddy? What is your next career move? Oh, I, uh, I, I, I don't know yet. So for you all, you bunch of arachnophobics out there, aren't you irrational? How can you be afraid of these harmless little creatures? What is the sense of fearing little harmless creatures that ultimately do many good things for the ecosystem? If you ask me, what we should be afraid of are bees. I hope you liked the video. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you.